What is up guys, it's your boy Raven and today today we're gonna showcase the deck that was created today for uh, one of my amazing viewers, Rema. He requested me, uh, he requested that I'm gonna you know create the deck for him because he was struggling with this uh, deck and after you know five minutes we figured oh wait we created some nice deck with this a really really nice deck so this is Zora Incinerator deck that's what I'm gonna show you uh, today it's a really nice deck n really impressive definitely will be stronger uh, as the you know as the standard develops as Unbroken Bonds comes but it's a great core version of the deck again another day another core version of the deck but let's just go let's uh, say uh, how what's inside the deck and I'm gonna be here like my face is gonna be here and if you want me to show you how to play this deck and you know how to run it play by play just uh, ask me on twitch you can go uh, right there down below there's a link twitch.tv slash raven and you will find me there from Monday to Friday 9 a.m. CET but there we go let's go to Pokemon TCGO yeah this is our stream twitch overlay as you can tell and uh, that's what I called him, don't know who I am and honestly, 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 this is a deck that caught me by surprise and the utilize of certain cards, the usage of certain cards is funny but it works so as you can see we've got one ditto, right, so we got one ditto why ditto? just in case you know we want to evolve into Zorark or maybe the Toro Cat, but that's it but the usage of Hoopa like I wanted to use Hoopa since the, the, the set team up came out and I knew that Rogue Rain can be really good it searches for two cards and it's basically Sylveon GX uh, card so I was like okay you know what we can try you know it's dark type we're doing it Incineroar let's use it and honestly if you can hit, hit this card turn one turn two this is the perfect perfect card it gets you all you need it gets your Incineroar it gets your rare candies it gets everything you need at that point we can say like oh Raven but three retreat cost it's it's bad don't worry, that's why we have switches, that's why we have Guzmas in this deck, so we're not gonna have to have this uh, this card up front. But like, okay, but how does all of that work? Glad you asked. So we have a line of one Ditto, one Hoopa, and we've got four Zorarks and four Zoruas. Why this amount? Just because we really want to... We didn't want this consistency. We want the deck to be consistent. We want to hit at least three Zorarks by turn two. With one Litten on the bench, maybe uh, Hoopa up front, maybe, you know, putting the Tapu Lele out there. Right? We want to get those cards pretty damn fast. Again, we play Litten, two Littens actually, one Toro Cat that can go either on Ditto or Zorark. So it's not only Zorark going on to Ditto, we've got also Toro Cat going. It's like, I call it hard casting. But you know, you you can juggle it around. You can uh, do something about it. and two incinerars. And what's really interesting about this card is his GX move. Basically, you don't have to worry about an ability. You don't have to worry about the energy at all. You can you know put it on the bench. And I was able to in ten games I played every single game. I was able to have incinerar turn two ready to go ready to attack with all the three energies you can say like oh wait but how do you get those three energies it's simple you use this card charge ability it draws you three energies and puts it right onto onto incineroar and because of that it takes three damage counters which makes him fantastic because of the darkest tornado like we don't care about crushing punch that much eh, it's okay but Darkest Tornado, this attack does 50 more damage for each damage counter on this Pokemon. So if you have a Choice Band, you can deal up to 200 damage on your turn 2. If you know, if you want to add a Rainbow Energy that will deal an additional 10 damage, go for it. It's going to be even more. So uh, if you will really, really, really want this, after two turns you'll have six energy on it but six uh, also six damage counters it KOs Waylord Magikarp right fantastic fantastic card a really good attack you know it takes some time to get used to it but you can absolutely absolutely uh, attack turn two for 200 130 130 160 those damages are uh, are, are, are. We are all capable of uh, dealing this damage and again one Tapu Lele for Prestos M Lecture for those additional uh, cards. But let's go to Supporters. 
and trainers because they are the key component and i mean key component to this deck uh definitely we made some changes uh, as we played so this is not the first version i've created we made some changes here and there and basically we start out with three great balls and two nest balls uh, why for the consistency right we want this deck to be consistent we want to hit those cards turn one turn two turn three and that's the key word of this deck consistency and you can you know you can say like oh i don't have four zorarks uh, get the fourth right it, with four Zoroarks it works fantastically then we got three rare candies why three well one might be prized two may be prized it's at, at least you will have this one rare candy somewhere there in the deck again one switch you can play two switches here if you want I play only one then three ultra balls again consistency matters then more devoured field additional 10 damage because why not we want this damage this has to be fast it hit hard then brock's grit if someone chaos our first incinerar well we're short on energy so brock's grit get back the energy to the deck then three cynthia's so another drawing power we got erika's hospitality great drawing power three guzmas three lilies and olivia olivia the card that will help you with consistency right search your deck for up to two pokemon gx reveal them and put them uh, into your hand will help a lot with getting the Zorark, getting Incineroar the turns you really really want and you really really need. I know it's a weird choice but there are many times when you end up on turn 1, turn 2 or later turns with lots of Zoruas, not necessarily a drawing power and Olivia so you're able to get those Zoraks, you're able to get those extra cards and again thanks to Olivia turn 1 you know you're gonna hit Hoopa turn one and you know you'll be able to draw the cards that you need so everything is for consistency it everything works for consistency of course you can put Malo uh, Malo will work perfectly here uh, that's what uh, maybe I'm gonna do later tomorrow uh, as we're gonna deck test it Malo definitely will help it puts the exact two cards you want on top and then you uh, put the Zoroark so maybe you can play Olivia Malo or two Malos instead of two Olivias definitely will work elms lectures again for the turn one zoroas litans and ditto right simple as that titan lisa white titan lisa for uh, the switch and for the uh, drawing power right depending on the situation really versatile card great card if you want to switch if you want to you know put the instrument up front and your hoopa is on the way you don't have guzma no switch you can always tap lele for it you can always have the switch if you don't have a Guzma, right? That's and again, if you draw it and you don't need to switch, you can and you know it's the only card in your hand, or you know, have two, three, you can always shuffle them and get uh, those five more. Then two choice bands, only two. Of course, you can play more. Uh, I only play two just for the sake of of energy, because we're playing four DCEs and eight dark type energies. Why eight? You may ask. We're not always gonna hit Brock's grit. And I don't want to cut my second in silver. Of course, 12 is a lot. I know uh, you can, you know, it's a matter of preference. I prefer having 10 to 12 energies in my decks. But if you prefer a little less, you can cut down the dark energy and then you have the room for another choice band for the mallow for the switch whatever you want so this is the deck this is the incineroar zorark deck that i've created today deck tested it it's really 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 fun to play definitely you know something worth to watch and worth to keep because after the unbroken bonds are gonna come out in may this might be the core version of something that will be a lot stronger in the future so you can hold on to those cards and really they are damn good and you can have a lot of fun with it so thank you guys so much for uh, watching this i hope you're gonna go you're gonna deck test it you're gonna play it you're gonna have loads of fun with the deck because it's really really fun deck and don't forget to subscribe to the channel don't forget to check out the twitch channel it's twitch.tv slash raven called snatch crew monday to friday 9 a.m city and down there below I tell you a secret down there below it's a five percent discount on any code you will purchase on professor oak on the top of their discount so not only getting the let's say 
10% discount on their product, but also additional 5 from your boy Raven just for you. So guys, thank you so much. Get the deck, play it, deck test it, have fun, because Pokemon, at the end of the day, Pokemon TCG Online has to be fun, and we have to be creative with our decks, and we have to enjoy the game. Thank you guys so much. Raven loves ya. Bye.